So Nadi Vrana is a type of Dushta Vrana which manifests because of untimely management or mismanagement of Vrana Shofa or Vrana Shofa. So Vrana Shofa is one more uh, topic which uh, has been covered already. Which has been covered? Yeah. Yes. Yes, sir. Right. And then uh, uh, Nadi here means a tubular structure, right? like how we have Nadi Yantra, such kind of Nadi. So that's why uh, since it is involving deeper structures or it is deep, so it is called as Nadi Vrana. Right? And uh, this is a kind of track actually, I, we will talk about it later. Right? Uh, it is named as Nadi since it is uh, tubular or hollow in shape. Right? So the definition goes as follows, Tasya Atimatra Gamanat. Uh, which means here uh, there is trava. Ati matra gavanat means it has reached the deeper structures and uh, it has different gati also. So it is called as nadi and it involves deeper structures. And uh, if there are many nadi, then it is called as gati. Fine. So it is exactly like a tubular structure, right? With, uh, with uh, puya srava or first discharge. Is this clear? Yes, sir. Uh, once we go ahead with the sites uh, where it will occur, the sites or the areas where it will occur, it will be much more clear. Now it will be more of theoretical part. Soon uh, in the consequent uh, and subsequent classes, we will be even discussing about the case study or case stories wherein you will get better ideas, fine. So the Nidana or the etiology of the Nadi Vrana is uh, the Nidana of uh, Nadi Vrana is Shopam na Pakvam iti Pakvam Upekshet Upekshate Yoyo Va Vranam Prachura Poyam Asa, asa means what happens uh, here due to a negligent or ignorant surgeon if he considers Pakva Shopa as a Pakva that is Pakva Shopa is one wherein we have to do the Vedana and drain out the pus. If she still feels that or if she still feels that it is not yet uh, suppurated and uh, it is under suppuration if it, he feels that apak, it is a Pakva and uh, Delays the bhedana, that is uh, incision and drainage of the pus. Then uh, the vrana, what it will happen is it will just travel into deeper tissues and it forms a trap. So this is how the karana or nidana of nadi vrana is explained. Fine. So, abhyantaram pravishyati means it travels inside. Fine. Uh, it is almost similar even in. Fistula in also. So this the same thing happens even in fistula in also. But here we are talking about sinus. So uh, it travels inside, and uh, that is how the nidana is explained. Coming to the patho uh, pathogenesis, how a uh, nadi vrana occurs. Fine. If a pakva shofa is neglected and uh, it is not carried, it is not treated on time, that is the bhedana or the IND is not done, incision and drainage, then the puya srava, uh, the excess of puya srava will be there, which will travel or which will uh, go inside, abhyantara, and then it affects the deeper tissues. Finally, what happens is it destroys the vranasthanas right, and formation of nadi vrana. Now, vranasthana uh, is the content of vrana chapter. So, that is how Nadi Vrana occurs. Fine. What you can do is you can uh, use Sanskrit terms, Sanskrit terms for this in the chart itself, then definitely it is allowed. So here, uh, since I do uh, tell you so, and, uh, and it was uh, like less time. So I've just uh, typed it in English. What you can do is you can always write the same thing like uh, neglected Pakka Shoba and Pakka Shoba you can write in Sanskrit. Fine. Puya Srava, you can write in Sanskrit. And uh, here, uh, Puya, Abhyantara Gamana of Puya, that is, pus affects the deeper tissues. This you can always write in Sanskrit. 
right? Vrana sthana nasha and then nadi vrana, formation of nadi vrana. Everyone is able to see the screen? Yes, yes sir. sir. Any doubts still here? Any doubts still here? No, sir. Okay. Since I have told you the session would be only of 40 minutes, wherein 10 minutes we had already uh, spent initially itself. So, hardly we have around 25 to 28 minutes. Okay. Now, coming to the types of Nadi Vrana, the types wherein uh, this is as per Acharya Sushruta, wherein he tells uh, one is Vataja, second is Pittaja, third is Kafaja, as usual. Next is Dvandvaja, that is Vata Pitta, Vata Kafa, and Pitta Kafa. And uh, next is Sanni Pataja, and the last one is Shalyaja or Agantuja. We'll study in detail what are these and uh, what is the uh, approach of treatment for this, the Sadhya Asadhyata before that. So, Vata, Pitta, Kapha, Vata Pittaja, Vata Kaphaja, Pitta Kaphaja, Sanni Pataja, and Agantuja. This is as per Sushruta Samhita, and if at all uh, you consider Ashtanga, then Ashtanga uh, he has bypassed the Dvandvaja, it is just Vataja, Pittaja, Kafaja, uh, Sannipataja and Agantuja. Fine. So there are uh, no mentioning of Vataja, Kafaja, uh, Vata Pittaja, Vata Kafaja and Pitta Kafaja in, uh, Sush, uh, in Vagvata. Fine. That is Ashtanga. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. If you have any doubts, you can always refer to the uh, the notes which you are taking and if you want any slides to be uh, displayed again kindly uh, comment I will display it or you can just tell it also again okay? okay, uh, re-display it fine so yes, yeah this is as per Sushruta and Vagvata you can just remove the Dvandaja that is Vata 4, 5, 6 are not told in Vagvata only 1, 2, 3, 7, 8 are told in Vagvata fine now when it comes to Lakshanas uh, that is the clinical features. We will see about Vataja first. Fine. So, Vataja here, uh, Nadi, Nadi Vrana with respect to Vataja, that is Vataja Nadi Vrana. The Vrana is Purusha, that is, it will be a little bit kind of dry and harder. Fine. And so, Vataja Nadi Vrana. Here the Vrana is Parusha and Sukshma Mukha, that is the entry or the exact opening what it is, it will be very narrow one, that is Sukshma and Sir Shula, it will be with the pain and Fenila Srava, the Srava would be kind of watery and kind of with froth, Fenila Srava. Here the Srava is excess at night. In the Vataja Nadi Vrana, the Srava is excess at night. Fine. And uh, Vibaranata. Vibaranata is one of the extra clinical feature explained by Vagvata, that is Ashtanga Sangraha. AS is Ashtanga Sangraha. Fine. I think you have all studied Ashtanga Hudaya, right? Right. So uh, in Ashtanga Sangraha, he has mentioned uh, Vibaranata. Vibaranata is nothing but discoloration which is an extra symptom as per uh, Ashtanga Sangraha. So this is about Vataja Nadi Vrana. When it comes to Pittaja Nadi Vrana, here the patient has Trishna that is uh, excess of uh, thirst and uh, Tapa that is overall uh, burning sensation in the body. Toda is a kind of pain and Sadhana, Dvara and Vedana Vat Vedana. Here the kind of Vedana is like cutting, cutting type of uh, Vedana or cutting type of pain. That is Vedana Vat Vedana. And uh, the Srava here is of Pita Varana. So Pita Varana, Ushna Srava. The Srava would be of Pita Varana that is yellow color as usual for all the Pittaja uh, characteristics, how it is, same like that only, here also it is Pita Varana and Ushna Srava, that is the Srava would be little bit warm or sometimes it may be more than warm, fine. And the Srava is excess in the daytime, 
in the pitta jal one extra symptom or uh, one extra clinical feature uh, mentioned by ashtanga sangraha is uh, durgam that is the us of a peculiar type of uh, order or smell which is uh, durgandha yuk right? so that is as per ashtanga sangraha vata janadi vrana and uh, pitta janadi vrana is clear yes sir yes, yes, yes sir, sir. Okay, any doubts no sir no sir so coming to kafaja nadi vrana again i am telling we can revise it at the last or we can also uh, redisplay the slides so kafaja nadi vrana here the the puya is bahu that is too much excess and ghana thick arjuna varna the color of the secretion is uh, like arjuna arjuna varna and uh, pichila srava that is sticky kind of uh, pus or puya the srava would be like that and ratri shruti means again the kafaja in the kafaja nadi varna the srava is excess at time okay Mm -hmm. okay. Again, you can just see Vata Jai is also excess at night, and Kapha Jai is also excess at night, and the people are excess in the daytime, as seen in all the kinds of uh, most of the Vata Jai people kind Kapha Jai clinical features. Next is the Stimita Ruk, that is mild pain, and uh, it's hard also. The Nadi uh, Kapha Jai Nadi Varna is hard. Right. Katina. Katina is a word which is used, and it is associated with kandu. He explains it as sir kandu. Sir kandu is it is associated feature or associated uh, symptom which is kandu. That is about kafaja. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, when it comes to dwandvaja nadi vrana, that is vata pitta, pitta kapha and vata kapha, or vata pitta, vata kapha and Uh, pitta kapha the features would be combined fine so it will have combined features this very important topic for your exam uh, you may get this uh, in the long essay also sometimes because uh, there is lots of scope in this uh, going ahead in the treatment part we will also be dealing with shara sutra uh, which is one of the treatment for uh, shalleja nadi vrana that is pylonidal sinus which can be claimed as pylonidal sinus so one vaja is uh, the mixture of two doshas and the features will also be mixed next is sanipataja wherein uh, apart from all the features of uh, doshas there are some specific and uh, certain extra features wherein a person if he has sanipataja nadi prana then he suffers from daha jwara shwasa murcha mukha shosha and combination of all the symptoms so uh, along with all the symptoms combination daha jwara shwasa murcha and mukha shosha is also uh, to be noted and here srava is of uh, variegated colors that is because of the mixture of all the doshas so the srava would be of various colors and uh, it is again associated with lots of upadrava and is fatal or it is asadhya also fine this asadhya is that clear till sanipataja fine yes sir yes sir yeah. lakshana dwandvaja is only one but actually there are three vata pitta pitta kapha uh, and vata kapha so totally it will go to eight again now when it comes to agantuja nadi prana or shalleja nadi prana what it is called as uh here it is always because of a shalya that is if uh, there is unresolved or un uh, removed shalya in the twak adi sthanas then it leads to formation of nadi vrana so here the sava is shenila mathitra swachha ushna and ratta mishrita what we call as zero sanguinous discharge so Uh, it will be serious also it will it will be sanguinous also like it is uh, with sometimes pus and sometimes blood also and sometimes only clear uh, pus would be 
oozing out from this kind of shalyaja nadi vrana or agantuja nadi vrana which is uh, correlated to pylonoidal sinus we'll see about the sites later uh, where all it occurs and uh, sahasa sarujam nityam so here there will be continuous pain the pain would be continuous in the case of agantuja or shalyaja nadi vrana fine is that clear till agantuja and shalyaja Yes, yes, sir. Nadi Vrana is very important. Yes, sir. Okay. Nadi Vrana is not only important for your exams, it is also important for your clinical practice because you will be getting pylonidal sinus cases, uh, which is of course rare one, but if you get it, uh, it can be treated very easily through Ayurveda, uh, through either Shara Sutra or Varti. We will be discussing about it later. That's how it is very important for your clinical practice also. In the clinic, if you are sitting and if a person uh, uh, comes to you with uh, pain in the in between the buttocks, that is uh, uh, below the sacrum, then in the natal cleft, there you can see the common occurrence of Shalyaja Nadi Vrana or Pylonidal Sinus. Apart from that also, there are again some sites where it may occur. But uh, in our clinical practice, we usually see pylonidal sinus at, at the pocket area. Okay, and uh, in uh, in some of the cases earlier, the barbers used to get this. The shalyaja nadi prana, what we are talking about. The barbers, what happens? Uh, barbers after uh, cutting lots of hairs, the sharp hairs sometimes they tend to lodge in between the web spaces here. Can you see this? Yes. Yes. And here there will be a track inside because of that foreign body. Now hair acts as a foreign body. It is the same thing in even, uh, even in the sac sacrococcygeal region uh, of the pylonidal sinus. So web spaces also sometimes it occurs, especially in the barbers, those who cut the hairs regularly. Sahasa sarujam nityam is continuous pain. Which is uh, again a characteristic feature of Shalyaja Nadi Prana. Now, when it comes to Sadhya Asadhyata of Nadi Prana, fine. So, we have covered the definition, types, Nidana, and Samprapti, and also the Lakshana. Now, when it comes to Sadhya Asadhyata of uh, Nadi Prana, which is just before the Chikitsa, here uh, the Tri Doshaja or the Sannipataja. Nadi Vrana is claimed to be Asadhya one, fine. And uh, rest all of the Nadi Vrana, that is Vataja, Pittaja, Kafaja, Dvandvaja, and also the Shalyaja, that is the Agantuja one. These are usually either Sadhya or Krichra Sadhya. So uh, he's very clear in mentioning this because we see lots of recurrence in the case of Shalyaja Nadi Vrana. Once, if, even if it is treated surgically, even if we have excised it surgically, but still there will be a recurrence. That's why, or that's when the role of Shara Sutra or the Varti uh, plays a very important role. Because even after many excisions and uh, many kinds of advanced surgeries, still the recurrence rates are high with respect to pylonidal sinus, which is Shalyaja Nadi Vana, one of the type of Nadi Vana. And uh, that's how if we treat it with Shara Sutra and or Varti methodically, then the recurrence rates would be almost nil. So that is again the upper hand of the Shali Tantra or Ayurveda Shali Tantra when it, uh, when it is compared to the modern surgery. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So... Can we deal with Chikitsa part in the next class? Yes, sir. Quickly we can just revise it once. Wherein the etymology or the Nirukti of Nadi Prana is a tubular structure or a hollow structure. That's why it's called as Nadi. And it's a type of Dushta Prana. Dushta Prana is again uh, dealt in the Prana class. Right? So here, because of uh, unintelligent or 
negligent or ignorant surgeon right the exact term for that is also mentioned by sushruta so one who is very much ignorant regarding the pakwa avastha and apakwa avastha if he is allowing the uh, pakwa prana to stay there and if he thinks that if it, it is still apakwa and if he is not doing the incision and draining out the pus then it reaches the deeper structure and then forms a prana called as nadi prana if there are many nadis then it is called as gati fine the same thing nidana and uh, here is the samprati so puya srava which is uh, which goes to deeper structures or abhyantara gamana and then formation of nadi varana types vata pitta kapha vata pitta that is mangoja vata kapha and uh, pitta kapha these three are mangoja and sanni pata cha and shalleja at last as per vaghata it is vata pitta kapha sanni pata cha and shalleja okay. lakshanas we have seen Uh, individual lakshanas vata pitta kapha and dwandvaja uh, sanni padaja agantuja and shalleja when it comes to sadhya sadhya the uh, sanni padaja one is asadhya and rest all are usually kritra sadhya or sometimes sadhya is desha kala bala everything uh, stays in line then it will be easily treatable or curable that is sadhya or else it may be kritra sadhya fine